Hi, I'm Brent from Sony, and we're here to help Cindy Clausen set up her home theater. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. Good. And you? Good. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. So you got some of the stuff here already? Yeah, and they delivered it this uh, afternoon. Oh, good. There's not much left, so well, let's put this together. Okay. Grab yeah, grab one of those cords. Okay. Just one or both? For training? Yeah, we've been uh, here in Richmond for a while, just training hard mm -hmm. and just getting used to the facility yeah. and uh, the ice surface here. It yeah. Feels good. So you can skate on the uh, on the oval now? Yeah, it's uh, it's great. It's such a beautiful oval too. Yes. It's, it's really nice and very a lot of windows and yeah. so there's a lot of light in there. So what's, uh, what does it feel like to win a gold medal? Oh, it's a pretty incredible feeling just because you think of all the work that you put into it and all the people that uh, were there supporting you, and, like your coach and your teammates. And so when you get onto the podium, it's just an amazing feeling. Like you just feel so thankful to all the people that helped you along the way. And mm -hmm. It's a pretty special feeling. It just also just being able to represent Canada and hear the um, national anthem play, it's a special feeling. Yeah, it's it makes you proud to be Canadian. Yeah, it's very exciting to watch on, on TV. You, you're looking back on your career, you all haven't always been a speed skater. No. No. So, so does, it, does it feel risky to jump from sport to sport when you've had success at a certain level? Um, well, I mean, I started off playing hockey, and I think when I did decide to go speed skating full time, I think there were some people who questioned it and thought it was a bad move. But and I was pretty bad at speed skating too when I started, because um, I just thought it would be like hockey but faster, and I could barely stand up on the skates. So I don't really know what kept me going. I just kept going to practices and improving, and I guess I just loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that passion for it. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Alright, so let's try and figure this out. So, we've got so what do you think is your uh, favorite sport that you won't be competing in? One that you're looking <laughs> to watch? Uh, you know, I've always really liked biathlon for some reason. I like watching uh -huh. that, but I think that's a little hard to, uh, to get out to. And, um, I'll be watching it on TV, that's for sure. Yeah. So you talked a lot about people that supported you and, and stuff like that. Uh, how important is that for for making it through oh, all it's, the, the whole road? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, my family has always been there to back me up. And uh, I mean, even when I started, like I said, switching from hockey to the speed skating, they never questioned it. They always supported mm -hmm. me with that decision and um, just family and friends and your teammates too because you're always training together, you're encouraging each other, pushing each other and um, I think having those teammates is a huge part of it and, and of course you have your coach that puts it all together, puts mm -hmm. programs together, he's there to motivate you and, uh, and so it's, uh, yeah there's a lot of people that come into play even Therapists, like for massage, sure. and physio, Cairo, and we have um, a great sports like that works with our team, and, and so it's just that uh, there's so many people around, yeah. and that help you to get to where you want to be, and uh, so there's more than just the speed skater out there. There's a lot of pieces to the puzzle. So what do you think? <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. I can't believe the picture and the quality. And um, I've never had anything like this before, so it'll be fun. So what do you think you're going to do first? Watch a movie, invite friends over, watch some sports? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, just watching sports right now, it's incredible. Just uh, They look like they're right here. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, definitely have to do that. Okay. Thank you, Brent. Yeah.